Scotty Scheffler, after a four-shot victory at the Masters Tournament last week, opens with a 69, and after his round, he spoke with the media. Scotty, when you're emotionally spent, which I'm, I assume you are, uh, from, from last week and all, does your, does your patience get thin, frustration high, or are they connected? feels like they are. I would say I feel like they would be connected. Yeah. I, I could tell today. That's why I try to give myself an extra little bit of, you know, uh, of grace, I would say, uh, on the course today just because, yeah, emotionally a little bit drained, mentally definitely a bit drained. But um, I think it's – I feel like I have more energy now than I did at the beginning of the day waking up to go play golf, if that makes sense. So I think getting into the tournament, hitting some shots, you know, getting a bit frustrated, getting a bit, you know, excited about my finish there um, – all good emotions to feel. It's nice to be kind of back back into tournament mode. Is it hard to grind when you need to? Yeah, um, going back to the fatigue type stuff. I mean, maybe a little bit, but I think the, sometimes that frustration from from not playing my best, I think, kind of helps me focus sometimes. And um, you know, you can use that as good energy, and you can use it as bad energy. And so I tried to use it as best I could for the for the good stuff today. Well, certainly an exciting time in the game of golf right now. We have a dominant player both in the men's games and in the women's games. But Amanda, when it comes to Nellie Corda, it just seems like such an inflection point for women's golf. Describe the impact that she has the potential to make, regardless of if she does go on to get this fifth win. Well, it's amazing. What she did in 2021 was, was incredible. She won her first major, the KPMG Women's PGA. She won four times that season. She also won the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics, which is really big. And everyone was saying, She's now the face of women's golf, and she really wasn't comfortable with mm -hmm. that title. She wasn't comfortable with that position. And then she had some freakish things happen to her the next two years. She had a blood clot in her left arm. She had to have surgery in 2022, had COVID. 2023, she had a back injury where she did not win that season. And she said it was very humbling, and it made her really appreciate where she was. And so I think she's now starting to embrace it a little bit more. Even though she really doesn't love the spotlight, it is so important for women's golf. Mm -hmm. When I think back to my golf hero, Nancy Lopez, she won those five consecutive starts. Annika did it as well. And those are those household names, Annika, Nancy Lopez. Lopez. I grew up, I wanted to be Nancy Lopez. I wanted, I did my book reports on her, my Toastmaster speeches on her. <laughs> and that's where, this is the new generation. They want to be Nellie Corda. And it is the fact that she's winning so much, that she is really kind of blowing the fields away. And she has this potential to be the star of the LPJ. That's huge. And I think, I'm thinking of Caitlin Clark as well mm -hmm. um, and what she has done for women's basketball to tell you the truth I never watched one basketball collegiate basketball game until this season I went to Duke watched a ton of men's basketball but never watched collegiate women's basketball until Caitlin Clark came around and now I was hooked I wanted to watch their final four I wanted to watch their championship game more than I wanted to watch the men and I can see that that um, Nellie has that potential for the LPGA. Well, you put it in perspective, Nancy Lopez won nine that year, her rookie year, and won 17 in the first two years of her career. That's what we're talking about. That's how different, that's what this streak is like. So uh, when you put it up against something Nancy accomplished, pretty impressive. Uh, pretty impressive in indeed. Nellie has such a unique opportunity in the game. And speaking of being world number one, the other world number one and Scotty Scheffler has perhaps served as a bit of inspiration for Nellie. Take a listen. Nelly, two consecutive weeks of major golf in the round, and obviously Scotty Scheffler came in with so much expectation on his shoulders and has been not quite as dominant as you, but of that, of that ilk. I just wonder, do you draw inspiration for what he did at Augusta last week? Does that kind of help you in your quest to kind of keep this going? Yeah, I mean, gosh, I don't think anyone can ever say anything bad about Scotty. I love his morals. I love the, his attitude out there i just love the way he goes about his business um there's he inspires so many around him including myself um so yeah i mean obviously as he even said he he wants to win every tournament he tees it up in and i that's every girl that's out here competing too and i think that you just have to go about your business you can get lost in the um, the articles you can get lost in the expectations but i think if you just stick to your true self um i feel like you can live in your own little bubble and enjoy it a lot more well 
Nellie Cordo, she has been saying a lot about staying in her bubble, staying grounded, sticking to her process. That reminds me a lot of Scotty Scheffler. Jim, beyond just their personality traits that seem to be quite similar, what is it about the two of them that's allowing them to create these sorts of moments and performances on both of their tours right now? It's always hard to kind of compare those, but we looked at some stats and the way they've played this season, and we've kind of kind of broke that down that way. And you talk about that uh, when you look at the stats here, the starts, five starts for Nelly, uh, nine for Scheffler, wins four and three, scoring average, both are number one, strokes game T to green, both are number one, greens regulation, Nelly's two, he's one, strokes game putting because their ball striking so good, 46 and 96, but another one, par better, she shot 13 of her 19 rounds or par better, he's got 38 in a row, that's back into last year, uh, strokes gained around a green, second and fifth, so all these stats are great, and I, I guess you think of it on a streak. Tiger Woods in 2006 won six in a row. But when you compare it, he had seven in a row when he, back, he went into the next year. That's what we're talking about when you're talking about a streak. Tiger Woods now, uh, that, that, that is as good as it gets when it comes to streaks. So what she's accomplishing is amazing. Uh, as far as staying in her bubble, that's the hardest part in today's world uh, for these young players, whether they're in college or LPGA, is being able to kind of stay in that bubble because of social media. You can't believe everything that we say, they say. You, you get caught up in that and you get in trouble. you got to block out the noise. I think that's the hardest thing for players right now. She likes to kind of sit back, as Scotty does, kind of out of the limelight. You're in the limelight, so now you got to figure a way to be able to juggle both those things, and that's a very difficult thing to do sometimes. And just, Amanda, that sustained dominance, it, it's wonderful for us to see and for us to talk about, but the, what does the reality of that look like as someone that was so dominant for so long in your college career? You know what that feels like to constantly be living up to those performances. Well, you could hear that Nellie was tired. You know, that there, that's also not just physically draining when you're out on a golf course, but also very emotionally and mentally draining. And and um, having expectations and she has them on herself and also knows that it's coming from outside sources um, and if you're given the mantle of being you are the face of women's golf that's a big expectation that's something that you, to carry uh, I think she's very much enjoying her anti era right mm -hmm. now with mm -hmm. Grayson with uh, Jessica Corda's uh, newborn little baby son she's talked about her contact nap so even having some perspective having something else to kind of think about to enjoy um, I, it's huge not having it just be about golf because it can be extremely draining and uh, which is making what they're doing, both Scotty and Nelly right now, so impressive. Mm -hmm. um, because when you think about when Annika won and when Nancy won that many times in a row, there wasn't social media. Uh, mm -hmm. So it is a very new era of having um, more media to, to really um, have to kind of navigate. I love that you mentioned Grayson, who is, of course, Nellie's nephew. Jessica Corda was on the broadcast today talking about uh, just how great Nellie has been as an auntie to baby Grayson. So perhaps Grayson is just on her overall team. You know, she has the physio, she has everybody else, <laughs> and she also has Grayson to keep her grounded as well.